Hello, this is Candy from Eyes2Jesus.blogspot.com and this is a video on my intended 2016 planner setup. It will change throughout the year, um, but I don't anticipate that it's going to change that much because I've really got it set up at a system I really like. Now, I still have a home management binder, but I keep it in my planner. Last year, it was just getting a little bit too tricky. I would have my big home management binder like I have for years sitting at home on my counter, and then I would write scheduled events on a really large wall calendar that I had. And then if I needed to write things down on my calendar or in my home management binder when I was out and about, I had a little uh, small notebook that I'd carry around in my purse. But it was getting a little hard to get all three of those things integrated. And then further, a fourth thing would be sometimes I needed to just jot down to-do lists. So I would do those on a dry erase marker that I have attached to the side of my refrigerator. Now while all these things are still handy things, it got to a point where I just wanted everything in one book and one thing. So I spent 2015 trying various different planner systems. I tried some spiral brown planners, um, like I tried the Erin Condren planner. Um, and then I used coil clips to clip in my home management pages. Uh, I tried the Happy Planner. I love the Happy Planner. Um, not as a planner very much, but I converted my Happy Planner into um, a family photo album scrapbook, and it's been really great for that. Um, and then uh, I moved on to mini binders again, which I have tried before, but the problem with mini binders is they're usually only an inch diameter rings. Now I do have a mini binder that I've had for a while from Target that's an inch and a half diameter rings, which is better, but you know, you have to use a hairband or something for a closure if, if you want it to be held securely closed like I do. So then I moved to uh, planner binders. I got a good deal on a faux leather daytimer Malibu. Um, it was only one inch rings, but I liked the closure on it because since it snapped closed, that meant I could stuff the rings and uh, the cover would be held closed with the snap and closure. And uh, my Malibu is now upgraded to inch and a half rings that uh, my husband and I uh, took care of because I still like to move my planner into my Malibu here and there. Um, and then after that, I decided to move to Franklin Covey binders because they just seem to have more options for bigger rings. And then I've realized over 2015 that uh, I need inch and a half diameter rings. And um, so my last few planner videos, you saw me in a beautiful Franklin Covey classic size blush pink Bella. Love that binder a lot. It's still the most beautiful, beautiful binder I got. I love that pink. Um, but there was a few issues, nothing major that really bugged me, but I couldn't put my pens in the pen loops or they would crash into my tabs, so I hooked my pens on the outside of the pen loops. Um, tabs stuck out a bit, not too big of a deal, except uh, now I have some upper bent corners on some of my top tabs. That's a little annoying because it didn't really protect my tabs. So I said in a previous planner video that I would probably stay in the Bella unless I could find a binder that was Bella-like. I did, and it's like the Bella, but all the problems I had with the Bella are fixed. Um, so I switched to that binder. I am in this one. And this is um, one of Franklin Covey's vintage binders, uh, so you're not going to be able to find them new unless they rebring them out again. And this is called a collages binder. And if you're familiar with the uh, vintage Auroras, um, this has the exact same layout on the inside as those. So if you like the Aurora pocket configuration inside, uh, the collages has the same things. Now I would have been interested in an Aurora with large rings if possible, but it has the slip tab closure like the Bella does. And um, I, I found with the Bella that I really prefer snap closures and I missed having a buckle. Uh, my Daytimer Malibu and my Franklin Covey Ava had buckles on them. I love it. So I got my buckle back. I got a snap closure and a buckle. And this is in kind of a, a burgundy red with some brown hue in it. So it's very pretty. So here's the back. So this binder literally has every feature I have been looking for. So 
In this binder, I am able to house my complete home management binder and my complete planner for the whole year. So the whole year of 2016 is in this, as well as my complete home management binder. And this goes with me everywhere. Um, I'll show you my purse just briefly. This is my current purse. Now, I change purses often, so that's why I say current. And this was like, I got it on sale, like $20 at uh, Walmart, and it was marketed as a laptop purse because uh, it has a compartment where you can put in a laptop. Well, that compartment is perfect for putting in a classic sized uh, planner. Um, most of the time, I just keep this in my hand, but if I need both my hands free and I'm out and about, I just slip it in my purse and it works. Okay, so giving you a tour of my home management binder slash planner. Alright, so here is my collages binder, and let's take a look inside and I'll show you my home management binder and planner. So as you can see, if you're familiar with the Auroras and the Bella, the pocket configuration here in the front color cover is identical to those. Uh, we have a pen loop uh, on the inside of the front cover, a pen loop on the inside of the back cover, and the pens I'm using, they're actually really cheap, but they're really great and I like them a lot, so I've actually put aside my Sharpies and Stedlers for these. It's basically 50 cents a pen. You get them in uh, two packs, packs of two, different colors, um, and I got them at Dollar General, a dollar for two, um, and I really like them. So right now I'm using the purple and the green, but I also have a red and a blue. And in this little pocket to the side here, uh, I don't keep very much. The pocket's tight, just enough to slide some papers in. I just keep some uh, market dots, uh, one eighth inch diameter. I just have green just for when I want to keep track of specific things. And then in the ID slot here, this is a cardstock from um, a scrapbook kit that I had that I thought was cute, so I put it in there. Same with this right here, celebrate and enjoy. Uh, then we have uh, my Avery labels, and I have Avery dots. Uh, these are one fourth inch. I love these a lot. Um, so I have this small one eighth inch market dots in here, and then I got the bigger one fourth inch Avery dots here. And then nothing else in the other uh, credit card slots. I just let this sit there. Uh, and then we have the secretarial pocket where I keep my card stock of various pieces of uh, various strips of washi tape for when I need to use some washi tape in my planner um, and I'm not near my bin or a pair of scissors then there we go these are all paper washi tape so I can tear them okay my page lifter um, this is sticker paper and I got it in a pack of uh, three three different designs uh, from Dollar Tree so I got it for one dollar and uh, so I just grabbed my favorite sticker paper from the pack uh, trimmed it to size, rounded two of the corners, and stuck it on. And it's, it's staying wonderfully, and it's just very pretty. So this is what greets me when I open up my planner. And um, I like the uh, burgundy and the green together, so I think it's pretty. So moving the page lifter out of the way, my inspiration page is different. Um, I decided I wanted my guide the house scriptures for my inspiration page. So I took some of my favorite scrapbook paper, uh, made it double-sided, trimmed it to size, uh, laminated it, and punched it and all that. And before I laminated it, I printed out my Guide the House uh, scriptures, rounded the corners on the printout, and double-taped it on. And my Guide the House scriptures are in the King James, of course. It's 1 Timothy 5.14, Titus 2, 4-5, Proverbs 31, 26-28, 1 Timothy 2, 9-10, 1 Corinthians 11, 3-6, Proverbs 29, 15, and Colossians 3, 18 through 20. And that's my inspiration page. And on the other side of my inspiration page, these are just some uh, post-its, super sticky, uh, full adhesives. And I just have some of my goals and, and longer-term personal projects written here. And if I need to add more, then I can just put more stickies on and write them on. They're in no particular order. And then next is my dashboard. And I made this dashboard out of a Studio C file folder that I thought was really pretty. So I got some uh, to do, um, target dollar spot page flags, some of those super sticky post its that I love, uh, a couple of page flags um, that I got from Hobby Lobby. And the other side, this is a large uh, super sticky post it pad. And then some of these. Uh, 
colored translucent post-it flags uh, which I use to keep track of things in some of my lists. So next is a happy planner folder that I just trimmed to size and punched and I just got some uh, papers here in the front then in the back no papers in there right now but this is a handy place to store extra paper clips and uh, paper clip flags and then I still keep the Prairie Muffin Manifesto and it's still printed out in booklet format and then my photo page which doubles as a divider to my scratch paper I uh, still have my favorite wedding photo from my husband and I when we got married in 1997. I got the current family photo of my family and then my scratch paper, which is just a bunch of paper and I just keep it together with a magnetic bookmark. This is a Happy Planner bookmark. So, so this is where I like jot down things if I'm going to run to the store really quick. Like this was I ran to Dollar General for a bit yesterday. So I just I just threw on a sticky note of the stuff I needed to get at Dollar General. So that can be thrown away because I am done with that list. Um, this is hard to get off in one, one hand with the full adhesive. Uh, and then uh, I just also write things down here of uh, you know what I want to put on my grocery list. So it's my scratch paper. And then we come to my first official divider uh, which is labeled home. And I made this divider from the home planner cover of um, the Happy Planner home planner. And then I just stuck on a sticker, Heavenly Blessings. And then on the back, still got my hairstyle ideas. And then I got the business card holder where I just trimmed down and put in project life cards that has the name of the days of the week on them. And I put down my to-do lists for each day. Because sometimes I don't want to look at routines or a schedule. I just want a list of the stuff I need to get done. So, And then notes or other to-dos that I want to get done each day too. Like Bible study, reading, writing, videos, goals and projects, etc. Then the next page is my routines page. It's morning, afternoon, evening, and night routines. And then we got my master schedule, a column for time, column for me, column for each of my children. I got my daily chores. These are my cleaning chores for each day, Monday through Friday. I take the weekends off. And then this page right here, uh, it's blank there if I want to stick anything in this page protector meanwhile I have this large post-it sticky here and I just uh, write my menu so this is this week's menu and soon I'll be writing next week's menu over here and then uh, you know on day on menus where it's like that was a spectacular menu I want to save that specific menu then I can just stick it in this page protector in here and on the other side of that page protector and by the way my uh, my master schedule and routines are also in page protectors. Another side of that page protector is my meal ideas. So just some ideas of uh, meals to make and a few stickies of some more ideas. Um, and then uh, my favorite project life card laminated and punched with slits so it can be moved around wherever I want it. Right now it's here next to meals where I just have a sticky of uh, some ideas of meals in a bind for you know those really busy days uh, when you don't have time to make an elaborate meal. Here's some quick ones that are still yummy. And I've got my cleaning projects and I keep track where I'm at with this removable uh, post-it see-through flag here. Children's chores and it's color coded to each of my children and it's got their daily cleaning, their weekly cleaning, their table chores, their room chores, their laundry rotation, and their cleaning projects which is kept track of with a flag. And then uh, these page protectors, they are just Avery page protectors for mini binders. They fit right in a Franklin Covey Classic. However, if you just put them in stock without changing them at all, they will stick out and block your tabs. If you don't want them to stick out and block your tabs, you can do what I did. You just take a paper cutter, you cut off the holes at the seam, you put washi tape over it, and you repunch it, and that scoots it in. And uh, then, as you can see, uh, the tabs stick out just fine. And my tabs are pretty short too. I don't have, I keep my tabs pretty short. A normal tab probably comes out about to here. Alright, and then I have a printed out in booklet format from my printer. Uh, a page of my emergency quick clean and some sample schedules. And these are uh, schedules um, from vintage schedules from real homekeepers in the late 1800s, early 1900s. So you'll see I have several things in my planner that is in booklet format where I just tell my printer print it out like a booklet 
And then I just need to fold it in half and punch it and put it in. No paper cutting and it's quick. All right, now my next thing here is my master grocery list. I do not get all of these every week, but when I make my grocery list, what I first do is I go to my scratch section, my scratch paper, and I look at things I've written down that I've ran out of or low on, and then I put that on my grocery list, and then I look through my menu and see what I need to put on my grocery list to do my menu, and then I look at my master grocery list, and I just go through the list. And it's like, oh yeah, look, we need more V8 juice because I'm going to make some crock pot chili. You know, and maybe I forgot about it when I looked at my scratch paper and menu, but this reminded me. So then I'll write things down. Um, after that, I rewrite my grocery list in the order of the aisles in the store I shop in. Uh, this way, uh, grocery shopping is quick and easy. I rarely ever forget things, and I just go aisle by aisle picking things up. So it works good. And I got a little washi tab on here. It says recipes because when you grab that tab and turn it, brings us to my recipes. My recipes are divided into, I guess you can say four sections. Um, they're not in any logical order to most people, but they're in an order that works for me. I have uh, just double-sided pages here of my main recipes that I use the most, not in any particular order. Uh, and then I have in the booklet format recipes that I do, but not as often. And then I have in another booklet format uh, special occasion recipes. And then, uh, then I also have some written on, like uh, unleavened bread uh, for making for our communion. Almond bread, which is really good. It's basically it's a cornbread recipe, but I do almond meal instead, and it's really good. Uh, and then I added a recipe for cherry lime aid that we had recently in Love, so it's like, well, that's worthy of being in my binder, so I wrote it down. And then uh, I wrote down my recipe for blondies because I always had to run to another binder for it, but I make blondies enough that it should be in here. And if you don't know what blondies are, think of brownies. Uh, they're brownies, but instead of chocolate, they're butterscotch, so they're called blondies. And then the fourth section is just blank note paper uh, for writing in more recipes uh, when I want to. So. Uh, now, this next section, this is a uh, vellum uh, pocket that I made that's top loading that I made with uh, two sheets of vellum paper and my laminator. And so I got the paper clip at the top because it's top loading. And this is where I put my bills as I come in the mail. My bills wait here until it's time to pay them. Uh, I took my bills out for um, anonymity. Um, but anyways, it goes there. And this paper clip right now, I have it holding all of my budget pages too uh, for anonymity. But, um, and then you see I got a little washi tape there, a little washi flag called a budget. So my bills are in here, and then my budget pages would be these pages here. And what I do is I just write down what bills, it's a list, each page is a list of what bills get paid on what paycheck. And then also of other stuff like uh, what we're saving back for savings, etc. Um, and then I track our bills. Uh, when they need to be paid, when they've been paid, how much they are, is our electric bill going up and down depending on the season or the month, etc. And uh, that keeps everything straight. Okay, now my next major tab section is called School. And this is my all-time favorite Happy Planner divider that I just trimmed down and punched for this. Oh, and all my homemade dividers are also laminated, so they will last and last. So this is called School. See the other side, I love that. And uh, so this is our homeschool schedule. I'm sorry, our homeschool curriculum. And this is our homeschool schedule. And then we have the children's reading list and their copywork assignments. And I don't need to lesson plan because I plan it all out uh, during my planning days, during the summer months when I'm planning for the next school year. And then I write it down, what subjects we're doing, what day we're doing it on, and how much. Um, we do for each school day. And it's school year round, so we got uh, some versatility there. You know, if we don't take any sick days or whatever, then uh, we may end up finishing some subjects earlier than others. Uh, so we usually end up with about a month off in the summertime, even though we school year round. Uh, and also we school Monday through Thursday. Friday is light homeschool and errands and appointments, dentist, things like that. Okay, so next section, notes, and I made this divider from a Studio C file folder. Pretty, pretty. 
And this is going to get uh, updated soon with the new year because, uh, like, for example, gift ideas, I need to uh, write a new gift ideas page and put it in because most of my stuff now in gift ideas is crossed off because they've already been taken care of. So now we got to put in gift ideas for the 2016 birthdays, etc. So some of the pages will, of course, be updated, but still looks roughly like this. Uh, just a whole bunch of notebook paper. Uh, my pages are numbered. And then I have a table of contents to keep them straight. Next section is called Plan, and this divider is made from a Studio C file folder. So I got uh, a Franklin Covey um, calendars page, 2015, ta-da, I got to cross it off because now we're in 2016. And then I also have it for 2017, 18, 19, and 20. And now we're into, of course, the planner section, hence plan. Alright, so all of this is my home management binder and all of this is more of my planner side. So it's almost 50-50. Alright, so and these are the inserts that I am uh, using. Uh, these are 2016 Daytimer Flavia Week on Two pages. Uh, I only plan one day at a time um, but I find since I write small and because of this configuration, I can use a week on two pages like a daily planner. So here's my divider for January. And it is a calendar, monthly calendar on one page, which is, you know, a bit sad. I'd prefer on two pages, but it's working. I just write small, and if I run out of room, I have this whole notes page to uh, continue writing on. And so my January month is starting to fill up. And here's my week on two pages. Um, I am currently right here for today. And this system is just working out wonderfully. Uh, what I do is in this column, I write down my to-dos. And then I number my top three and put my top three up here, one, two, three. And then all my do's, to-dos get checked off as I do them. Over here, uh, I don't know if you can see it, there's times there. This is where you write down schedules or appointments. This is my loose schedule and also I write down appointments. And then over here is journaling. I just write a few highlights from the day. So here's today. Here's my checklist. So I still have some things to do to complete. Here's today's uh, schedule and appointment list. And then tonight I will journal about some highlights from today right here. Alright, so to show you what they look like blank, just like that. Alright, and I love the Flavias, they're so pretty. Uh, here's the February divider. And there's March. And there's April. And there's May. June. July. August. Aren't these just gorgeous? I love them. Look at that. September. October. November. And December. Alright, and then I have one more divider and it's called File. And this is uh, a Happy Planner divider that I trimmed down, laminated, and made fit my Franklin Covey. And I love this uh, quote by Albert Einstein. It says, Out of clutter, find simplicity. From discord, find harmony. In the middle of difficulty lies opportunity. And what file is, as you see, I got alphabetical tabs. These are um, daytimer mom planner alphabetical tabs in there for contact information. So there's pages in here uh, to write in people's names, phone numbers, addresses, email addresses, etc. Uh, but also I call this file because I also use these as an alphabetical file. Uh, for example, under D I have some paperwork from the dentist and like under E I have an earthquake map. Um, under H, I got the homeschool laws. Oh, and under D, I uh, put in the uh, three-day diet uh, that you've seen in some of my previous uh, videos. So, after file. Oh, and under W, I currently have, and that's what these papers are back here, a uh, weight tracker. Um, Going to lose a few pounds. And after those are down, then these will get moved under H for health because I've been tracking my food and keeping a food journal. 
Okay, and then this is a Daytimer zipper pocket. Daytimer makes my favorite zipper pockets. I like them better than the Franklin Covey, so I use the Daytimer ones. And I just keep some stickers. And then here's my back page pusher. And then the back pocket configuration, I like this uh, a lot. It's great. Um, these two pockets here, I'm just keeping a couple of Project Life cards. Uh, these are great for if you're like uh, needing to get a note to someone of some information or exchange contact information. You can just pull out a pretty Project Life card, write your contact info, and hand them the pretty card. And then I have my little black notebook for my math equations. And then um, just a notepad here which is punch. This is a daytimer notepad. I like this. This is from a mom planner. So it's got notes in pink, which is pretty. And so this is my current 2016 setup of my home management binder and planner. And now I'm going to uh, have my daughter share with you her planner that she set up, which is really awesome. I'm Rachel. I'm nine, and this is my planner. Okay, so um, this is my... Um, Franklin Covey Day One Planner that I'm going to be using for 2016, and it's actually got a really cool system with this. It's magnetic and it's um, buckle, so not buckle. I forgot what it's called, but <laughs> it's magnetic. And then over here in this pocket, I have several sheets of stickers, and then in my zipper pocket. I have uh, a chick check and this half a project life card. Okay. And then over here I have a washi card. I just put on um, nine different types of washi. I think eight. Eight different types of washi on here. I got a very thick one and then three medium ones and four very thin ones. And that's for like fun way from where we keep our washi, I can use that. And then in these pockets I have some Project Life cards to make them pretty that I cut down to size. And this one I have another Project Life card with a heart stencil over it. And then over here with this, it's a pro one of the bigger Project Life cards. And like if I wanted to use it I would put a little sticky note on it for my dashboard and then I would like write on it. On the other side too I have a family picture and then I have my goals on the back of this Project Life card on sticky notes and then <clears throat> my inspiration page. It's a Project Life card that says so loved and then it says then we, ch we which are alive and remain shall be called up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, and so shall we ever be with the Lord. 1 Thessalonians 4.17 And then, um, I kind of forgot what this is called, but in here I have some cut up stickers. And then in my folder, I have some extra to-do sticky notes. And then, on the other side, I have some, um, paper clip flags, I think. And then I have my dashboard. I have some more to-do sticky notes on my dashboard. And these. Oh, and all my dividers are frozen themed. And then the other side of my dashboard. And then my routine section. My morning routine. And then my things to do when I'm bored. Afternoon routine. And before bed routine. And then my chores section. I have my morning room chores. And then I have my special cleaning projects, my daily cleaning chores, my laundry day, and my table chores. And then in my food section, that's where I would um, that's where I write down recipes. Like on this one, I just have to hold a blank fill of paper in here. On this one, I wrote down chocolate cupcakes because soon I'll write down the recipe for that. But for now, I just put in the title because I wrote that down like later. I have a whole bunch of those. And then my plan section, um, this, um, I have it, I'm using a magnetic bookmark to keep it all together. It's just a piece of thin filler paper and a whole bunch of information pages and time zones and stuff like that. And it's birthdays and anniversaries. And all my uh, months are coastline themed. 
So this is January. And then this is my monthly overview. And this this is really cool. It says to be done in January 2016. And that's like you write down stuff that you want to do in that month. And if you finish them, you can check it off. And then this is what I'm up to right now. The 1st of January, New Year's Day. And there's my... Like, here's my planner pages and everything. And now I'm going to show you all of the dividers. Or uh, sections. Months. February looks like this. And then this is March. This is April. This is May. This is June. This is July. This is August, that's really pretty. And then this is September. Um, this is October. It's like I think that's my favorite. And then this is November. And then this is December. And then after that I have my Oh, and I have to be done in the year 2017 too. Yeah, I have a lot of to be done in 2017. <laughs> Like a lot, a lot. And then my files section. Um, I just have the names of some of my friends. And then under W, I have a weight tracker. So I track how much, how many calories I eat today. And then use X, Y, and Z, of course. And then after that, I have, um, this is like, this is really cool. It's a clear zip. Thing, zip bag thing folder for planners and I keep s some stickers in here I got these these things. I got two of those I got this and this and this and these and that these are really cool Christian stickers that look a woman and then I have <clears throat> butterfly stickers Print two sheets of princess stickers and then restarts after that. And that's really cool. And then I keep those. Yeah, my mom gave me this pocket that I can keep stickers in. And then I just have some really pretty note papers that came with my set. Really pretty. And then after that, I um, have some little paper and a page pusher. And this is just some notes, no, sticky notes. And then, oh, I'm gonna show this. This is my pen, and this works really, really well for doing stuff. Okay, and that is my 2016 planner.